Hi, Chuck here, KK6USY, and welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. Now, I just got back from Dayton. <laughs> Crazy wind. And uh, I bought a signal stick while I was there. And this is, I think this is a, uh, it might be one that glows in the dark. I'm not sure. I haven't really checked it out. But when I hooked this thing to my 705, the SWR wasn't very good. So we're going to try and fix that today. But also, I'm going to show you this antenna, which is a cheap antenna that I picked up. I don't even know where I got it, to tell you the truth. And I'm going to show you what it does for SWR. Oh, man, I got to get out of this wind. So stick around, and we're going to check this out and see if we can fix it with a tiger tail. OK, so here we have just the signal stick by itself. It's pretty good at one. I mean, that's pretty good at 147. Let's go to 146. Reset. Two to one. If I can I reset this now? Oh yeah, there we go. We'll go down to 145. A little above two. too short all right I want to show you guys one other thing though well let's go ahead and we'll do the um, with the tiger tail on all right if you look right here I'm going to scan this and it start I've got it set at 146 kind of in the middle of the two meter band and uh, it's going to scan from one looks like 145 950 up. So here we go. Okay, that's that's below 1.5. Sometimes I've had it better than that. I don't know what's going on with this thing sometimes. But that's pretty good. Let me go out of here. Let's just go down to 145. We'll reset it. Okay. Do the same thing again. We'll go to 144. We'll go just a little higher so there's no squats there. It may not do all this. So it's not quite as good there. Okay, now I just I bit this thing up just a little bit to see what it does here. I was a, I was pretty much at 18 inches. Let's just see if I make it shorter. It makes a difference. Makes it worse. Okay. Okay, I marked 18. Let's just go. Let's go like a half an inch longer. And I'm just. Rough, rough guess at it there, guys. I didn't really measure it. So we'll reset it. Yeah, so it needs to be a little longer at that end, which makes sense. Let's go to um, one, 147. Got a lot of repeaters up in that area. No, real low there. So 18 inches is pretty good um, for everything. Maybe if you go down lower, I, mean, I might leave it longer. I might leave it bent so I can move it, guys. All right, so I've got this antenna, guys. This is a uh, just a 
cheapy off of Amazon. It's got its own little corner, you know, bent section here. So I'm going to pull it all the way out, which is pretty long. But I just wanted to show you guys something here. Okay, so at 144, let's do the test again. Pretty much like the signal stick, right? Now I'm going to adjust this thing down one full section, I think two full sections. Let's see what it does now. Look at that. Half a section. Too far. So I'm going to reset that. So half a section back. And down here, I think I need to be just a little bit longer. So I'm going to do a half a section up. Look at that, it's perfect. This is with, with no tiger tail, guys. Now, I don't know what the difference is here. Let's, let's see what the length of this is. It's about three inches longer at this point than the uh, signal stick. So let's, let's go up now. Let's go to 145 and just see what it looks like there. I'm assuming right now it's gonna be long. Oh, look at that, still good. All right, so let's go to 146. Still good, look at that thing. Okay. Let's go to 147. Okay, it's starting to rise a little bit right there. Now what's that? now I'll pull this thing all the way out. Well, look, let's just go down that half a section. So now I'm down, looks like three sections. Let's just see what it does. That wasn't quite as good, so I'm going to pull it up just a little bit. About a quarter. There, look at that. Okay. Let me add the tiger tail to this one now. Let's see. Okay, the tiger tail, I'm just going to go out of everything here, then we'll go back into SWR. It's reset. So now I've got it where it was pretty much perfect. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at it. It's way out now. So let's, let's just go down with it and see what it does. Oh, yeah. So now it's showing probably long. Not went too far. Okay, so let me just reset and go all the way across. So that's pretty good. That's what the tiger tail was better without it. But let's go to 146. Okay. Now I'm going to adjust it a little bit longer. So basically two sections, I think, out or in. Look at that. Pretty good. Just a hair longer. Too wrong. Too long. <laughs> this is hair shorter. Hair shorter. Okay. Let's go down to 145. All right, so I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, this should be, if it's a little bit longer here, probably. Too long. Short, let's see what it does. 
Yeah. Look at that little little swoop there. So if we go to one, let's go up 500. Hit it again. Pretty good. All right. I mean, I don't know. They both seem to work. This one seems to be able to adjust a little better. <laughs> oh man. Don't you just love the wind? Well, I really, I don't know what to think. I don't know why one antenna I can tune up, but it is adjustable. And why the other one, the SWR is not very good. I am gonna check a few of my other antennas just to see how they do. Maybe it's just something to do with the 705. I'm not sure, but the 705 seems sometimes to me, the BNC is, you move it just a little bit and it changes your SWR on multiple antennas, not just not just the HT antennas. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I really appreciate you guys spending your time with me, hitting the likes, and uh, you know just checking out my videos. So I'm Chuck KK6USY for Hamburg Adventures. Hope to catch you everybody on the airwaves at some time or another. 73 all. <laughs>